Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to show you how you can build an AI agent inside VS Code. So this time we will not be utilizing external tools, rather we will be utilizing VS Code with some proper extensions installed so that we can create our own agent and we can test it locally. So in order to get started, let's move on to the VS Code and here on the left hand side you can see the extensions so we need to install certain extensions over here so the first extension which i'm looking for is ai toolkit so click on this and you need to get this installed it is still in preview but i believe it is doing pretty good job so here is the documentation of what all UI features it has. So you can go through this, but in a nutshell, I can tell you that this particular toolkit or the extension, we can uh, use it to leverage the models which we want to connect. So let's say you have certain models, you want to utilize certain models which are on GitHub, or you have some model which are on Azure AI Foundry, or even you may have a models which are locally installed or downloaded. So in that case, we can utilize this particular extension to bring those models into the VS Code so that we can play around it and we can build our own AI workflow. So that is the reason you need to get this installed. Second thing is if you want to utilize AI Foundry resources, then for that you have another extension which is Azure AI Foundry. So this is the extension which you may need when you want to interact with your Foundry resources. So there may be situations where you want to utilize the resources which you have already created in your Azure AI Foundry and you want to just pull in here. So if you have already created your agent there, if you have already associated the tools, then you need not to do that from scratch. Rather, you can just provide the link and you can pull the, everything here based on the models which are hosted there. So this is one thing. Second thing is I'm going to utilize GitHub model. So I have already logged into the GitHub in this VS Code. So accordingly, you can take action whether you are going with Azure AI Foundry or you are going with the GitHub models. So once these extensions are installed, you will see that a new icon coming on the left hand side toolbar. So this is the one AI toolkit. Click on that and you will see that it opens up a new panel which is having four different sections. So the first one is for my model. So it is going to contain all those models which you have already added and you want to utilize those models for your current application workflow. So these are the ones which you are interested in working. Second panel is about catalog, then the conversion and the fine tuning part. So all these options which you're seeing on the left hand side can have one individual video because these are very vast and I'm not going to cover a very detailed explanation, but I will just provide you a little bit about what these options are and we can have another video if you want. So the second option here is the catalog. So catalog is the one which is going to hold all the models which we can use using this particular toolkit. So here you can see these are the most popular ones which are listed on top. Then we have the models from the GitHub. So these are the ones which are provided by GitHub. Then we have for local models, which is supporting Onyx and Olama. So these are the different categories. And apart from these, the, like you can see, there is a button view all. So it means there are a lot many models under this particular button. So if you want to just filter it out, you can either go with the hosted by who is hosting these models, or you can go with the publisher. You can go by the feature wise, what uh, actually you are interested in then you do have a model types where do you want to run it how do you want to access it so these are the filters let me quickly try one here so i selected publisher as the microsoft so these are the models which are published by microsoft and you can use it so you can try various filters and here you have the fine tuning support if you will turn it on you will get only those models which are supporting fine tuning so this is how the catalog looks like then we have the conversion, then we have fine tuning as well here. And under that we have another section tools. So under tools, you have a playground. So you must have seen this earlier in my previous videos. So playground is a place where you can 
play with your model you can give some output uh, input and you can expect some output and just try it out test it out before deploying it to the production so this is a place where we can play with our model then we have the agent builder which i'm going to show you soon we do have a bulk run and the evaluation so bulk run is a feature you need when you want to run multiple prompts or a lot many prompts in bulk a lot many user queries in bulk and in a sequence so in that case you can utilize this bulk run feature and evaluation is to evaluate how your model is doing and in the last section which is for help help and feedback that you can find lot many resources how you can get started what all things you can do so just go through this and this is the official link of the ai toolkit let me go back to vs code so let me quickly go ahead and try out one thing so i'm on my model catalog and here you can see these are the models so if i will click on this particular add model as soon as i will click on this add model you will see that it got listed over here as added and on the left hand panel you can see it is also listed under my models this is the one which got added recently okay so now as it was falling under the github models that's the reason on the left hand side panel it is listed as a github model so this is one way to add the model another thing is here you can see there is another way so let's say you want to deploy this model so you can try out uh, either the github deployment or you can also go with azure air foundry so any of these options you can choose it from here so i will go with this one and apart from this there is a plus icon next to my models so let's click on that and here you will get few more options and so like i said if you are interested in your local models which you have already downloaded using olama so in that case you can select add olama model here you can either provide your endpoint if you are already having that otherwise you can click on select models from olama library and here it will list down all the models which are already downloaded on your machine so here you can see the second one which is from the hugging face and this i downloaded some time back so i just click on this one and click down okay so once it is done you will see that it got listed on the left hand side under the olama category so this is how you can go ahead and add your models Let's go ahead and try out something in the agent builder which is the main topic of our today's video. So this particular UI is like very easy if you want to create your own agent. And here the very first thing you need to see uh, select as the model. So which model do you want? So there are like 4 to 5 which are listed under my models. But I am interested only in the GPT-40. So click on this one and it will get selected. then we need to define the prompt so for prompt uh, what you can do is uh, either you can go ahead and draft yourself under the system prompt but be careful because we know that system prompt is the one who is going to assign some personality to this agent so it has to be very clear very concise and it is always good to give some example that how your agent should behave but if you feel that you are not good enough in writing such a detailed one then you can utilize this particular feature which is generate system prompt and in this dialog you can define what you are interested in and then it will go ahead and generate the prompt for you so for my agent i want to say this you are an assistant who can tell very funny one liner riddle on any topic if user asks a riddle about a fruit do ask for a fruit name from user and utilize the tools i have so i will show you in a while about the tools but let's click on generate first so by the time it is generating i can show you so here we have the tools option and i have added one dummy tool over here so the name of this particular tool here is get riddle for fruit so whatever the fruit you are giving it will just make a call to this riddle okay so moving back to this so system prompt is generated and here you can read how nicely it is generated so you are an assistant that provides funny one liner riddles on any topic or fruit based riddles requested by the user so if the user requests a riddle about a fruit prompt the user to provide the fruit name use the provided tool get riddle for fruit to generate the one liner a riddle about the specified fruit then under the steps you can see that what it is saying if the user does not mention a specific fruit but 
wants a fruit based riddle then ask them to provide the name of the fruit so this is how explicitly we are asking our assistant to behave and once the fruit name is provided use this particular tool with the given input and return the riddle as an output that's perfectly all right then we have the tools guidelines so whatever the tools we have defined it we just need to describe it or explain it to our agent and then here we have the output format so it has generated the output format like how our tone should be or what we are interested in and at the end you can see system prompt is also having some examples over here so this is how the detailed prompt can be now let's say if i am giving a user prompt tell me a riddle okay so this is what we are interested in and we don't have any variables so that's why this empty uh, this variable part is empty then we do have a tools like i said you can click on this particular uh, add tool button and you can add any on one of these so if you have mcp server running somewhere which is actually hooking up with some tools then you can utilize that directly otherwise you can also go ahead and define your custom tool so i just define my custom tool using this particular dialog you can also upload your existing schema so i have provided the schema definition over here for my tools and just added it so now what i'm saying is this is my tools name get riddle for fruit and i'm just saying that whenever this tool is invoked just drop me this message so that we will be sure that okay my tool is actually invoked and next thing is the structured output how do you want your output to be you want json or you want the text format so let's leave it text as well and now i'm going to execute this and see how it works so i am saying tell me a riddle and you can see that it simply dropped one riddle over here now let me ask one more thing tell me a riddle on some topic some interesting topic and here you can see again we got the riddle over here and at the same time you can also see uh, how many tokens we have used it is displaying over here so total 26 tokens are utilized for this particular prompt now i am asking another riddle so till now you have seen that we have not utilized our tools so let me change it a bit tell me a riddle on let's give apple run it and now i'm expecting it to go through tools so here you can see we provided apple as a parameter so it just picked it up and the tools response if you will see this is the one which we are saying a fruity one for you and it's the same response which we have defined over here so that we can make sure that okay my tool is actually called and apart from that this is the response which model is generated based on how tool is spitting the output so this is how you can create your own agent and let's say you want to take a look at how the code is generated then just click on this view code and you can choose whether you want it through openai sdk or you want it using azure ai inference apis so once you are selecting the option based on your requirement you will see that the tool is generated over here and the entire code is generated in fact this is how the output is generated this is how the model is plugged and this is how the tool is defined and this is this message system message which we have seen over there and here you can see it is utilizing my github tokens so that's how easy it is to come up with your own agent and if you want to add new agent just click on this new agent button otherwise you can go ahead and save this particular version so once it is saved you can also take a look at the version history and see how it is behaving so that's all i have for today and do let me know in comments what other options you would like to see uh, among these like left hand side panels whether you want to are you looking for evaluation or what is the use of bulk run and all these things even the fine tuning one do let me know and i will try to come up with a video so thanks for watching